In this video, we're going to show you how to plot the IV characteristics of a PN diode in the forward bias region. In Proteus, we're going to left click component mode and left click the P to enable us to pick devices. We're going to use a general purpose silicon diode. So in the keywords filter, type in 1N4001. And we're going to choose this diode here from the diode library. Select it and click OK. Add it to the schematic. We're now going to go into terminal mode. And we're going to add a ground onto our sheet. Join them up. Next, we're going to go into generator mode. And we're going to add a DC generator. Add that to the sheet and connect that up to the diode. Double left click the DC generator and for the generator name, we're going to choose DV. We're going to tick this tick box here, manual edits, because we're going to make a change because this value will be the sweep value that we're going to add. So where it says value equals zero, we're going to change that. So it says value equals X. When we add the DC sweep graph to the sheet, this value here will be changed as the value is sweeped through the graph. Click OK. Now I'm going to go into probe mode. I'm going to add a current probe. I'm going to drop that down and make a connection here. Double left click it. I'm going to change the name again to DI. Click OK. Now we're going to go into graph mode. I'm going to choose DC sweep. With DC sweep highlighted, left click once on your sheet to start drawing the graph. And left click again once you've made it the size you want it to be. We're going to right click the graph and we're going to click edit properties. For the graph title, we're going to rename that to diode I V characteristics. This is our sweep variable here which will go across the x-axis. The start value is going to start at zero and it's going to finish at one. And there's going to be a hundred steps between the two. For the left axis label, we're going to enter into there forward current. And for the right axis label, we're going to enter forward voltage. When we finish making those edits, we're going to click OK. We now need to add the probe to the graph. So we're going to tag the current probe when it's highlighted, we can left click and hold and drag it down onto the graph. As you can see, when that's been added, we get the addition of these vertical lines. When we're ready, left click the graph to tag it. And then we're going to press the space bar to draw the graph. With the graph drawn, this is now the IV characteristics of the diode in the forward bias region. If we want to view this in full screen, we just simply left click on the title of the graph and that will now show us in the full screen mode. We can hold down the shift key and then use the mouse to drag an area of interest and that will zoom in for us. If we left click, we can place a cursor on the graph and we can move that cursor along and take any readings with the X axis on the left and the Y axis on the right. So on the left, we're reading voltage and on the right, we're reading current. And as we can see, as expected, at about 0.7 volts, we're starting to see the diode is now forward biased. If you're producing reports, you can include these graphs in other applications, such as Microsoft Word. If you right click on the graph and then left click copy to clipboard, we can then drop into Microsoft Word and we can then right click and select paste. That now adds the graph to your Microsoft Word document. If you're interested in learning more about Proteus and found this video useful, you'll find that this next video is just perfect to watch. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.